Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. So, um, I could not decide what I wanted to do really today. So I'm doing a combo of things I wanted to do, <laughs> kind of. So we'll say hi and hugs and then we will get started. Let's see. Hi and hugs to, oh my gosh, this is totally weird and gives me the chills. So top of the list for today, and I did this list like weeks and weeks ago of, of people to say hi and hugs to from the comments. First one, hi and hugs to Carrie, Carrie the crafter. Weird. Okay, you'll find out why it's weird in a minute here. But hi and hugs to Carrie, Alana, Teresa, Chippico, Martin. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well, it'll take me a minute to recover. That's crazy. So this is my this is my wonderful cover that I made from the five item swap with Carrie the Crafter. So how weird is that that his name came up first? Woofta. Okay. So anyway, um I decided with this uh, with this cover with this this book that this is going to be i decided i wanted to make an art journal and that was inspired by carrie's absolutely wonderful video that he did of our five item swap so i knew i wanted to keep it because it was fr uh from you know from our our little swap that we did so I knew I wanted to keep the cover. I didn't want to make a journal to sell or anything. So um, even though it's got lovely, delicate lace on the inside, I'm going to make it into an art journal, I think. So I have all of my papers. Um, we, let's see, we did these papers the other day. We painted those on another Mixed Media Monday. I have some of my doodled painty papers um and various others and so i'm going to include some of these in this journal so that i have the backgrounds all ready to go and or the pages all ready to go so first thing i'm going to grab is this this is that uh, oh i always forget the name of it I'll put, I'll have to put it below. It's the rag paper, Kali or something like that. And it is, it is just the right size. I don't care if it hangs out a little bit. So that is going to be one of our papers in here. And then I'll have, be able to do something fun on these sides. But I'm thinking that might go first because I like it with the pink lace. So page number one is in there. Um, I also brought over, this is just cheap watercolor paper from Walmart. I don't know. And um, I thought I might put a white piece in, but first I wanna see how many other pages I wanna put in this. So looking at these ones we did the other day, these, these two I'm going to put in my Christmas pile because they really are Christmas colors. And then, I mean, this would be good, but again, it's the same colors, kind of. I want to save that for fall. Ooh, I do love this. I do love that. Oh, but I love this one more. Eeny, meeny, chili, beanie. I don't know. Well, I'm going to pull those two out like as possibilities. That's going to be a cover or something. That one's fun too. That could go in. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how how much we can fit in. So, but I'm just going to choose ones that speak to me. Okay, over here. So I'm going to set those up there as the possibilities. Then this is... Ooh, that could be pretty. I don't know. I don't even know how I did that. Maybe somebody sent it to me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Somebody must have sent this to me. 
they're like inked or something. Ooh, that one's real pretty too. Like that one too. I think what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna sew them together. But I really like those. Michelle Gregory, did you give me those? Maybe. I don't remember. Sorry, guys. I can't remember everything in my craft room. It's impossible. <laughs> um, let's look at these. Are these? Oh, yeah. These are my... We'll have to do this one day. The um, altering of... Um, National Geographic pages. We'll have to do that one day. Ooh, that would be fun too. So, I, I love those two. Okay. They're all really neat. I, I love that. We'll, we'll do that here soon. I need to write that down as a Mixed Media Monday idea. Okay. So I think I will call that good out of those papers. Do I want any of my doodled papers? I do have a couple favorites in here that may be like this one is a favorite. It's really thick. It's I think it's on the cover. So I don't think I want to use the, anything that thick. But I was thinking I could use this and then I could collage on the other side. That's a nice one. Let's let's pick that one. Okay, so those can go back in their little file folder. I just keep all of these um, different papers in, like in these kind of vertical file pocket, it's called. This one has a Mary Bright magazine in it for me to play with too. Okay, this napkin cardstock, that would make a pretty background too. Just seeing what the options are here. Ooh, that would be pretty in the art journal, wouldn't it? And a good background. I like them all, really. Ooh, look at that one, isn't that pretty? Black and white one. Yeah, so that's the napkin card stock, but I think, I think this is best for like an art journal page because, just because it's plain Lots of possibilities there. Let's see. It's in here. Oh my gosh. Tons of painty papers. Which. Which I would like, but. They're a bit. Too small, really. Let's use this one for, I think it'll be close to the right size. Yeah, these are, um, I need to show you that technique too. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, got a couple of those. And then, what else is in here? There's this wallpaper that we did, that one. Oh, that's, that could be um, Traveler's Notebook, so I'm gonna keep that in here. But this piece we could put in maybe. 
probably going to have to pare down from what I'm grabbing. I don't want any napkins. These are too thick, these papers. Remember, these are the ones I redid from Ugly Scrap Paper. Okay. Um, what do I have here? One, two, I'm going to put that as an extra three, four, Ooh, that one can go in just as it is. Five. This I was going to do together, but I don't know if I really want to. Six. Seven. Eight. One of these. That's my... Oh, I can't, I can't pick a favorite from these two. Okay, so. Oh, and there's one in there already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was kind of thinking about 10 pages. So I'm gonna use this one too. <laughs> it's so funny, it's like you just wanna hoard them. So, okay, now oh, I have another project here, over here, if we still have time after we get this done. But I was thinking, what about some jelly prints? Like a page or two of jelly prints? Okay, so these ones I feel like are finished. Mm. I love them. Ooh, I love that. Okay, this one should go in. Am I going to be able to put her in sideways? Because she's already kind of like a... She's already a, a done thing. Okay, so I'm going to put her in there. Um, I'll just see which other ones speak to me here. Ooh, I love that telephone page. Yes, that's going in. That's Christmassy too. I'm putting that over with my Christmas stuff. Okay, so I might take like this one. I'm about to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so those were from the finished pile there. I think that that we will call good for the jelly prints. Okay, and what did I have that I shoved over here? These. I already have one of the blue ones like that. Okay, well, we'll see if we feel like we're full or we need more after this. Okay, let's get these ones ready to go in. Some of these, it's just a matter of folding, which is great. And then, like, I could collage on this side is what I was thinking. Ooh, I love that. Okay, this one, I want to... I want to fold it like so. So that she's on that page. And then I need to cut it down to be about eight and a half. Let's see, I better use this so I can see eight and a half. I think I'll just, yeah, I think I'll be able to chop off this much. And then this can be collage paper. And then I'll go eight and a half here. 
awesome. Okay, so there she is. Again, can collage or whatever on the back. Okay. Oh, I don't really actually have these stacked yet, do I? <laughs> okay. Um, these are going to be have to be made into eight and a half by eleven. Might as well leave my cutter up here. It looks like. Okay. So how big is this? This is ten. So. This way we could go eight and a half, and then that still leaves me a nice piece to play with. Let me go this way. Okay, eight and a half. Granted, um, it's going to be slightly smaller than the other pages, but that's okay. I mean, this way. Okay. Fun. All right. This one can just be folded. And I don't care that the bottom's all torn and craggy. That's just fine with me. Um, I do want to split up these painty papers a little bit. Okay. And then this is eight and a half so that's great yep this one's great eight and a half by eleven yeah i do feel like this was given to me by michelle gregory i kind of think so okay and this little guy how cool is that oof love it Not going to want to cover much of that up. <laughs> I can tell that right now. Nice there. Okay. I figured I might put, usually I put about 15 pages in a one signature journal, but I kind of thought this will get thicker with um, collage and stuff, so maybe I would need to do less. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this guy. Oops. This guy. I don't know how it's going to fold, but we'll give it a whirl. Oh, just fine. Okay, just fine. Another one of the techniques we'll have to revisit, but... I think if you search Gail Augustinelli napkin cardstock, a video will come up of this, I think. Okay. So far, so good. Got our little dictionary page here. Needs a little reinforcing on the edges, I feel like. Okay, that's kind of nice with that turn it that way so that like that okay the wallpaper maybe I think I might put this in the middle that's the middle page, because then that will kind of be a spread-ish. So that would go there, like that. Okay, this one, um, how did I do that again? Let's see, that is more than 11. Let's go. Eight and a half. By eleven. Ew, that's real fun. 
Um, how do I want that in here? I was thinking about, where's my other one like that? Here. I think I'll do this this way. Put it in like that just for fun okay and then this that's not super thick I think I can use these other few pages that I pulled out I think I'm going to use a uh, watercolor paper in here. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling like. Let's do that one like that. I think I might go like this here and this here. And then that's kind of the middle. Um, anyway, the water, you know, to use much wet on this, I don't, I don't think, I think this is going to be more gluing, maybe some gesso probably, but that's about it. Okay. feels pretty good okay let's just get this sewn in I'm debating kind of what color of thread to use I wonder do I have one oh yeah got some left over here on this little spool. Is that enough? Hmm. Yep, just barely. Okay. We'll use that up. You, I'm going to keep that little thread or little spool. It's cute. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll probably find something to wind around it. Okay. So. Let's get this put in. I think this is a super fun way to use some of my papers that I've created in my play sessions over the years because um, it's like a lot of instant backgrounds right off the bat. Okay, let's get our get my all here. And a needle. Okay. I'm using my uh, book cradle from Amy at Crafty Cat USA on Etsy. It's the best guys if you don't haven't gone over to get one do so if it's not a listed item just message her and say Gail said you can't live without one of these <laughs> I don't know how I ever did okay alrighty I'm just going to use some wax linen thread to get her sewn up here. Do the three hole pamphlet stitch that that I always do. Where is my there it is. <laughs> 
my spine is cracking a little bit, so we need to work on that after we get this sewn in. This thread goes really well with this. I really wouldn't need to put anything over it if the spine weren't a little bit a little bit unhappy. I just want to make sure that it's sturdy. There we go. I think I'll just clip those a little bit. All right. So we have our little art journal for... For playing in and for remembering the generosity of a good friend. So how is that? So fun. Okay, so now I'm going to do something with that spine. Um, I'm thinking actually... I think I have some... Uh, masking tape handy. It's over on my grungy, grungy book tray. Oh goodness, did I get my zipper stuck? I think I did. There we go. Okay. Get rid of those. Let me get my masking tape first. I think I'm going to do that just because if there is anything wet or anything, it will protect that. And then since I've decided that this is kind of my carry book, I think I might not put lace on the spine. I might put... Um, I mean, I could put the pink lace, couldn't I? But, okay, I'm just gonna masking tape right down the center of this. Just like that, just to give it another little layer of protection. Hmm. Now, I did think this is really wide, but I could cut it down. I kind of thought about burlap. Which might be kind of fun. Just for something different, right? Okay. I'm still not sure, but I'm thinking I might do this. Okay. Oops. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, the raveling won't happen once it's glued. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe about right here. The nice thing about burlap is you can follow the threads right up and get a pretty straight cut. <laughs> That's uh, the burlaps in kind of my use it up basket over here. So that's a plus. Okay, let's just get to getting here. Should have filled up my fabric tack. Sorry, just taking a minute to get down there. It's at the it's at the bottom. It's the thick part. <laughs> okay. I'm 
just gonna just gonna get this little journal made so it can be played in I'm excited the wonderful thing when you have something made or something this one wasn't made necessarily by Carrie but he provided the supplies is every time you interact with that piece you think of them like my friend Diane I have her one of her quilts that she made on on my bed and so I think of her every morning when I make the bed and every night when I turn it down for us to go to sleep you know so it's just that's the that's kind of the joy of a something that's made by a friend okay well that's a good sturdy spine right there I am thinking I might need to put some lace down it though Just a row of this down. Well, it's pink, so it's not it's not very masculine, but maybe the pink's for me, and the more masculine things are for Carrie. Which gives me an idea that I think I'm going to add more to this cover yet. Okay, let's put on this. And then I'm actually just going to um, let this sit like this while I do my other idea. Oh, come on. Sorry, lost patience with my Fabri-Tac there. <laughs> Mike's just happy I take it out on the glue. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's go this way. Okay, so that's on there. Now, what I was thinking is, Carrie, turnabout is fair play, as they say. Um, let's see if we can find a little boy that is Carrie when he was a little kid. Because I wanted to put something right there. <laughs> I realize that's not Carrie when he was a little kid, but it's so cute. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's gather the little boys together, and then we'll decide. <laughs> we can't put a ballerina on there, because you know I'd argue with her. Oh, I love this little guy. Ooh. This one could be Carrie and his sister. I got to go with that. <laughs> yes. So that's Carrie and his sister right there. Aren't they cute? Carrie's especially dashing in his little outfit with the with the low slung belt. <laughs> oh. 
And I love you, Carrie. <laughs> okay. Okay, that finishes that off for me. That uh, just makes me happy. Okay, let's, let's get it a little distressed and get that glued on there. And, and then, you know, 90% of Carrie's beautiful collage still shows through there. Okay, Kayla, okay, my little people. Okay, so I guess we'll use this. And then, you know, I would kind of like to put the word friends on there. Um, because he and his sister are very close, I know. And, and then for our friendship, too. So oh, there you are, Carrie, you and your sister. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? Okay, I'm going to look in my words. Um, and just see if I have a friends that would work on there somewhere. I'm just not sure. Ooh, there... Lynn's Altered Arts has sisters there that would friendship. Yep. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn's Altered Arts on Etsy. Okay. So that's going to go right there. And then I want to look through and just see how the pages look if we like them. Okay, let's see, get the good glue stick out. I'm still working on the one that's about to be done. But I do that off camera because it's a little fussy. Okay, <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay, so there is our little book. Work on bending that a little bit because the um, the uh, you know burlap. It. Okay, I think I'm going to put holes in that and put a tie on that as well because then as this poofies up, it won't be a problem at all, you know? I'll just tie it closed. So basically making it like any other journal in a way, except the pages are just for playing with in a different way instead of writing. Okay, let's see, let's see. Four and a half. And four and a half on this side. There. Okay. Okay. Let's just put some eyelets in. Let's see. What did I do? Did I do silver? I did silver on there. So let's do these.
I do kind of try to match up the eyelet with the um, corners. Okay. Oops. Oh, I guess I need a hole first, don't I? <laughs> details, details. What I think I'll use for the ties is some twine. Sorry, I'm grabbing the twine. My thought with that is if I should get it painty or something like that, it'll just add to it. It'll be fine. So. there and another one. Oh, I'm so excited about my carry journal. Oh, look at that. Did those pieces. Okay, so there. and there and so that will then just tie up like so Okay, now, now we get to look through and just see what our pages are like. It's a fun one. You can see lots of room to play on the backs, but then also room to do things on the prints themselves as backgrounds. Mmm, feels so yummy. There's so much texture, especially on this one. <sighs> there's our book. Oh, you look at this side too, because I do know there's a surprise. There's one page back here. It's already done. There she is. <laughs> oh, I don't profess to be good at drawing people, but she's okay. She kind of reminds me of a mermaid. I think it's the green. Um, so yeah, so I know my collage is gonna come nowhere near my excuse me, my pal Carrie. But I'm gonna have fun playing. So, where are we at? We have about 15 minutes, you know, I'm kind of thinking about these pieces just going in the pocket for, for use, but I think I'll just put them with my scraps. So what do we want to do for 15 minutes? Should we, um, should we grab out the scraps and maybe do a little collage on a page? Let's do that. There's my scrap bin. Got some here too. And I have this from my last Marguerite Miller that we could we could play with that a little bit too, couldn't we? 
Okay. I like these three circles would be fun on something. Okay, I'm going to do this page. Let's just grabbing that page out of my glue book to kind of put behind it a little bit. Okay. Well, I have no idea what what we'll do, but let's just let's just play with this piece of paper for a little bit. I'm going to cut out the circles. I think I want those. For some reason, these circles, and it's funny because I think I did them well before I knew of her or met her, uh, but they remind me of Diane Reevely. Some of her collage and stuff that she does. I think it's just the stripes because doesn't she usually put little striped stockings on her people and stuff? Yeah, kind of. I'm tickled to have this done. Now I can just work in it whenever the spirit moves me. Oh, there's this is a napkin up top here. But I'm thinking I need need some bunnies in this because Carrie on his um on his collage he had a lot of he had a lot of dragonflies because that's kind of his thing. Oh, here's another circle here. Don't know that I want to use it because I have three. So that's okay. We can save that for something else. I do kind of have an idea with this right here. Let's see if that that turns out. Yeah, we only have 15 minutes, so I don't know how much I'll get done, but we'll just play a little bit just because we can now that it's a done book. Okay. What I was kind of thinking about this was to like make a little tab out of it for the page like that. In that case, I feel like I could use that other circle. I don't know. I didn't really see this painted paper in my painted papers, but at some point I it, I guess. Okay, so we could put like that in that corner. Something like that. No, to no, to no. Um, kind of liking the idea of this somewhere. So fun to play with paper, isn't it? We're lucky that we that we have this. Uh, 
Okay. I don't know if I want to use this or not, but it just kind of... Yeah, I kind of like that. I wonder, I have a thought here with this little bunny. We'll see if it works. If not, there'll be a bunny on some of these pages. I know that for sure. I was thinking about just having his little head poke out right there. I don't know. I'm not, it's, I'm not loving it, so. I'm thinking I just might put that down. Oh, and then I had one other thing I was going to show you, and we have time. Okay, let's get these down on this page. And then we might even find, where's my glue book? We might even find what I'm thinking about for this page when I show you the other thing I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you in another video this other thing because it's really not, it's not enough to do a video on its own, you know. Okay. Putting that in the middle. Let's see, you are going to be a little tab. It also kind of kind of reminds me of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, I just remembered I forgot to do my Etsy orders for today. Get them out in the mail. I need to do that. I'll do that as soon as we're done playing. I'll wash my hands and go get that done. This will be good at reinforcing this corner a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, what I was going to show you, and maybe we'll find something. I was thinking of some little word or phrase for that. But, so, um, let me just somehow cover that up. I'll just do this. Just covering up my address. So this Costco connection, I, I just kind of wanted to talk about harvesting from a magazine. Things to use in your art journals or your writing journals, either way. Um, and... There's just, there's so much in these. Where's my big scissors? Let's use those. So, like this taking a different route. When I saw that on the cover, I was like, ooh, I love that. And um, you may have seen before my um, images three ring binder that I have. Um, I have piece of, or what do you call those, uh, page protectors in there, and they're full of various things. One of the things is words, words and images. So I just roughly kind of cut them out. That word amazing, I can always use that. Just kind of take a look, see, is there anything else I want? Do I want those airplanes? I might. Because Marguerite Miller, 
she's a challenge. <laughs> and who knows what what she will do. So, okay, so I've recycled the majority of the cover of this little thing. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'll just cut them out separately. And yeah, so, so I just go through like this, cutting as I go. And then keep them. And I will say that February is a particularly nice time to do this because there's a lot of love stuff, like make her heart sing there. There's a love there. So I'm just going to chop that out like so. Um, my grandkids love to go through my um, images books and grab out things for their art journals that they have here too. So just have love and that's probably about all I need on there. Um, nothing on that page. Nothing on that page. Show your nose some love. Well, again, there's love, which that's kind of a nice size. So I'm just gonna chop that. And this is a great thing to do while you're watching TV is just to go through heartfelt. That would be nice. Oh, there's make her heart melt again. So yeah, you can be watching TV and just going through and going, oh, I like that word. Oh, I like that word. And just cut them out and keep them for, keep them for later. Where are you? Your heart felt right here. Um, well, I'm having a thought here. So definitely Carrie's video made my heart melt. When he was talking about our friendship, he, oof, he really got me. I got teary. So let's use that on this. Okay, I'll get those into my little binder afterward. But I just kind of wanted to show you how I do that. I just kind of go through and and chop it up. I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna separate the words. Okay, I'm gonna put those on there and that will remind me of, of Carrie's video that inspired this book and that just, just made my heart melt. <laughs> oh. So, let's see, is that semi-straight? Try for, try for straight, Gail. Okay. Although you can easily put your words at an angle too, that's just fine. Make her. And then I'm gonna outline these in some marker just to kind of make them stand out, but also reemphasize the marker that is on the painted papers. Okay. Let's 
see. How are we doing? Oh, geez, we're almost out of time. That's okay. I'll quick like do this. And, oh, gosh. Let's just hope this is working. Okay, I'm just going to real quick just do like really messy lines around this. Keep in mind that your art journals don't have to be great works of art too. They can just be a reflection, a memory, whatever. They don't have to be, like I say, a work of art. Okay, today I'm, I am creating this on, I think it's the third. I'm going to write right here, Carrie Griffith. Okay. There we go. There's the little page that, I mean, nothing fancy, and yet I love it. It reminds me of my pal. So thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll be working in this in this little book here and there as we go, but I just wanted to get it made and kind of get a page done too. So yay, we got her done. Have a grateful day everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!